We got here a 2020 Mustang GT with a black accent package. 5.0, 10 speed. It's got this brand new color for 2020 gravel line. And uh, I'll give you a quick run around of the vehicle. You can check out this new paint. Really, this black accent package matches well with the black spoiler, the black emblems for the trunk and then the 5.0 and then the horse in the front and then the black wheels. You also get that black roof. Very nice. Nothing new in the back for 2020. I mean, the headlight, the tail lights are the same, the same quad exhaust tips. very pretty color some people will hate it some people will love it definitely an attention getter so if you don't want any tickets this might not be the car <laughs> you got the same headlights fog lights LED that uh, starting 2018 you got this functional air hood vent Now, this vehicle is not a performance pack car, but it still comes with the four piston brand bolts. They're on branded as well. They don't put the sticker, they only do that on the performance packs of the six piston ones. But uh, if you go back to 2013 and 14, these were the brakes on the performance packs back then. Let me take you over to the window sticker. Twenty five miles per gallon highway, I mean that's very good for this engine. You know this sticker at forty five five, I mean this car is not loaded. It doesn't have the uh, digital dash, it doesn't have the performance pack, it doesn't have active exhaust. Zoom in so you can see some of the options. I mean it's got leather, it's got the four hundred eight package with the touch screen, toggle switches, I'll show you all that. Let me take you to the inside. Show you this trunk first. Not bad. It's got plenty of room. You can fold the seats down. There's your mats, license plate holder. You know, not many people are gonna wanna drill into the front of this car. This beautiful paint. Got keyless entry, you just touch the door, touch the handle, unlocks. This vehicle has a 408 package, so it does not have the blind spot uh, sensors in the mirrors, just those tiny mirrors in the corner. Uh, no memory seats. It does have the uh, the regular dash. Like I said, no digital dash for this one. No lane keeping assist, no adaptive cruise control. I mean, just what you need on this vehicle. I am not a huge fan of the digital dash, but uh, I don't have that on my personal car, but, uh, Here are the toggle switches. You hazards, traction control, you can adjust the steering. It will get really hard, really soft. You know, your daily driving, that's probably the mode you wanna be in. And then that one, you're more at speed, the steering can be harder, easier to control. Then you got your uh, right switch here for the modes on the right. Got normal, sport, track, drag strip. It will shift very hard and very fast. It will strip the tires first and, uh, you know, first to second, second to third shift. And then snow and wet mode, you know, it really helps if you live in snowy areas. You know, I've daily during my Mustang since snow before, so it can be done. And then when it's raining, it limits the, the power, so uh, you won't be spinning all over the place. So it's very helpful. You don't have to be afraid to drive this car in the rain. It's got your uh, new sync system for 2020, same as the 2020 Explorers, 2020 Escapes. Just a new interface board. Uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's got your satellite radio. 
Got your 10 speed automatic. You know, 0 to 16, 3.9 seconds under the right conditions. And you got this special badge for this car. You know, 55 years for the Mustang. Here the cool seats. I mean, just what you need in this car. And then, you know, let's get to why people buy this car. For the engine. Give me a second. All right. We got the five liter V8, 460 horsepower, 420 torque. Uh, they've been underrated. You put them on the dyno, they'll do 490 to 500 horsepower crank. So very fast cars right out of the box. Uh, you know, a couple of mods, you know, they're making some serious power. Throw a couple of turbos, supercharge, you making over 700 horsepower. This one's got the direct uh, pour fuel injection. So you get the best of both worlds. You know, a lot of those European cars with just a direct injection. You get a lot of carbon buildup inside the engine, intake valves. You know, you won't have that problem with this car. Let me give you a couple of ribs. This car starting 2018 with this new engine, you know, revs all the way to 7,500. But uh, let me give you a couple revs. Open the door. Now again, this is not my car. It's got 34 miles on it. So I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but uh, at least you get a little taste. Uh, very good sounding exhaust. If you don't like something super loud, these out of the box are really good. All right, so that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I am gonna be reviewing an orange one that we just got in with a performance pack and the digital dash active exhaust. If you want to stay tuned for that video, but uh, this is going to be it for this gravel line. Very nice car. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe.